Hey guys, welcome to the Startup Life. So I'm gonna go through this um, description of this problem from HackerRank real quick. So this is the diagonal difference problem, which has the square matrix R. Uh, so basically um, with this problem, it's it's we're summing up the diagonals and then finding the difference of it and finding and returning that as a positive number. So an absolute value, just in case it comes back negative when you do that difference. So the thing that makes this difficult um, is that we're gonna end up having to iterate um, through this twice, basically. We, we really need two iterators in the for loop that we're gonna be doing. And so it's a little complicated, but um, once you get a hang of it, it's kind of like makes sense. So think about it. Um, we have the left to right diagonal, 159, and then the uh, right to left one, 359. The 159 is pretty simple. You're iterating through the array, and that makes sense. It's only with the um, 359 that we get this hiccup because we're not necessarily starting at you know the beginning of the array, which is like one at zero, zero position. So with number three, um, we're actually starting at a position because we have two iterators, zero, two, and then we go to five and it's gonna be now one, one. And so like just that creating all that mathematical um, calculation, it's just gonna make your code very verbose. I definitely tried to do it and it just was not working out. So you guys can read the um, details to the instructions yourself. Um, I'm gonna include it in the link down below. Um, you can easily just go to a hacker rank and search diagonal differences. But let me get into the problem and how I ended up solving it. So what we wanna first do is um, create a variable, we're gonna call it n, that is equal to the length of the array. And I'm gonna put the brackets, but you don't really have to. Uh, even without the brackets, it's gonna recognize it for the length of the array. Then we're, what we're gonna do, because we're summing as always, we're gonna set it up equal to zero, the left sum, so that the left, Diagonal sum is equal to zero. And var the right diagonal sum is equal to zero. And as we loop through this for loop, it's gonna increment and add it to those variables, okay? So with the for loop, we're gonna start with i equal to zero. And here's where it gets a little <laughs> funky. Okay, so um, our iterator, this is where we're gonna include our second iterator, right? So let's make our iterator J as they ex like showed us previously in the instructions. And that is gonna be equal to N, the length of the array minus one. And as we already defined it, which is the length of the array minus one. So that, you know, it does it in the order that we want it. And then we're gonna make i less than n, because again, n is the length of the array. That's how we set up the variable. And then also we're gonna do i plus plus, but then we're also gonna be doing j minus minus. And that's because we're decreasing with um, going down uh, the array with that one, the numbers are decreasing. And decrease in, 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 in increment. <laughs> Anyways, so um, here is where we're going to say uh, left sum is incrementing ah, and it's going to be equal to the array at index i and the other index i and then right sum as it's incrementing. Now this one is going to be at, and this is going to be where we diverge. And this is going to be at index j. This is for the right sum, right? That's how they differ. And this is just really the main difference. And then when you get down here, so now we have that, right? Actually, but now we're going to say, let's say var difference is equal to left sum minus 
right sun. Well, to be honest, I don't even need to do all that. We could do add this. Sorry, guys. I'm just thinking about the best place to place this. Now, the way that, because we need it to be an even number, the way I did it was with the math dot absolute function thingy. So we're going to just have it return math dot AVS. It's like a built in expression for JavaScript to create absolute values, and we're going to do difference. And then run the code. Yay, success. And that's how you solve the problem. Sorry, guys, if I was rushing, but y'all y'all know this is time. So I was trying to make sure I got through the problem uh, and answered it. But basically, this is how you solve it. Um, the really more difficult part is when you have to uh, have that second iterator in this for loop. But otherwise, once you're done with that section, it's smooth sailing. I know some people did like more complicated ways. You could even multiply the difference by negative one, you know, if the, like do like a if else statement, like if difference is negative or less than zero, then multiply it by negative one. And that would have given you a positive value. Uh, you could do it that way. But for me, I just did the math.abs because um, I just knew there was like a built in function for that. So or um, yeah. And that's how I basically solved it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, or have any other ways of solving this problem, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. I'm so sorry for my low energy, but it's like late in the night and I don't want to wake anybody up. So, you know, by being too loud. But this is a pretty simple problem. Uh, for me, when I was doing it on my REPL, I kept getting it right, but wrong on HackerRank. So it was right on REPL. Um, but it was wrong on um, HackerRank. And it's, it's just because maybe HackerRank had a specific way and wanted me to answer it. So, um, and then the reverse happened, like HackerRank would um, accept a, a version that I submitted, but on my REPL, it was just returning zero or not a number, but on the HackerRank, it actually worked. So both things can happen. Um, so don't stress out. Uh, sometimes it might just be your testing environment that actually is messing you up and not really what you're writing out as the code. But until next time, I'm gonna do another problem. See you soon. Um, as always, remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.